morning. It's bright and early on this side of things. Maybe you'll catch this later. Um, but I want to make a journal or two and I want to use up this paper pad. So I um, obviously bought this one a while ago. Uh, I got it from Tuesday morning, it looks like. Uh, for $6.99, it had 24 single-sided papers. So if you're making a journal, single-sided papers are awesome. So it originally had 24 pages and counting these scraps, because there are a couple of scraps in here, I now have um, 23, right? So I've only used one full sheet of paper from this paper pad. So I thought this was a great one to choose. Um, so you can really see how far one paper pad can go. And again, these are single-sided sheets. So let's tear all of this out. I'm going to keep my covers. Um, so this is roughly about the same weight, a little heavier than the paper, not much. And then um, the back cover is actually a real hard chipboard. So that might make us a good cover. Good morning, everyone. Or afternoon if you're abroad, whatever time of day it is. All right, so I'm just gonna tear all of this paper out. Good way to use it all is to tear it all out. Just deconstruct the paper pad. I was um, talking to a neighbor and she started watching my channel and she wants a journal. I asked her what kind of journal she wanted and I don't know, something with flowers maybe. So <laughs> I think this journal will be for her. Good morning, everyone. All right, I guess I could have done some of this preemptively, but one of the things I find appealing, perhaps, hi, Rhonda Lane, I'm doing great. It's the evening there in Australia. Wow, nice. I hope you had a good day. Um, one of the things I think is kind of appealing about watching a live video is seeing everything in real time. So I just grabbed a paper pad, sat at my desk and hit record. I didn't do anything in advance. I didn't pull any stamp sets out. All I did was grab a, a pad of paper. And so I think that hopefully that's appealing to you guys um, to see what you can really do, you know, with the, with the time that we're gonna work together today. All right, so this piece of paper I think would make beautiful pages but I also kind of think if I cut it here these would make really pretty pockets so I'm gonna set this one to the side okay this and then I'm gonna make a pile of paper that I think uh, will really work oh hi Tina I'm so happy you caught me too so now I'm gonna um, separate my pages that I think would be good pages for the journal. So any of these, okay, this is a cut apart, so I don't want, I wanna put that to the side with my other one. You love watching lives, Rhonda? Yeah, I do too. You know, I love it because of the chat. I love the community of a live video. I love hanging out with you guys and not just talking to my camera. Um, so I love it too. And I like watching them. I'm going to keep one of these in because I really do think, even though it's busy, this could be a beautiful page. So I'm going to keep that in. And then I'm going to separate these, this just because it's not complete. And this for now, but that's okay. We're still going to use those pieces. 
Okay. So we've got lots of paper here. I'm going to set this page to the side as well. And now I'm going to think about my dimensions. And honestly, I've kind of been thinking that I would keep it 12 inches wide and maybe 10 inches tall. Let's, let me grab my ruler, my trusty ruler. Good morning, Dawn. You're up early after a long crafty night on Elizabeth's channel. That was lots of fun. So yeah, 10 inches. You know what, let me zoom out a little bit, you guys. The last time I recorded something, it was, it was card related. So sorry about all that shakiness, but let me zoom out because I want you to see exactly what it is I'm doing here. Don't mind the mess. I, I've been crafting a lot, but I haven't been recording a lot. So anyways. I think that's better. I want you to be able to see top to bottom what I'm working with. Okay, so 10 inches would be about this high. It's a pretty big journal, but I kind of like it. Hmm. I think though, so I have a scrapbook um, that I really want to make for my daughter for her birthday that we just celebrated last week. Um, so I think I'll save the 10 inch dimensions for that scrapbook. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to 12 wide, I think by eight, honestly. And then our pages will be six by eight, which I think is fine. Um, you know, it basically will give us this much writing space. I think that's plenty. Okay, we're going to do 12 by eight. All right, now that I have that worked out, I'm going to grab my big paper trimmer. Awesome. 9.30, yeah. It's almost your bedtime. <laughs> ah, I see. Hi, Cordelia, good morning, good morning. Yeah, Dawn, I hate it. Hi, Vicki, good morning. Um hated to go live the other night while you and Elizabeth were live. It was on Wednesday, but I was like, I'm not going to have another video out this week or uh, this week at all if I don't do this. So I had to go back and watch it, but you got, I liked the cards that y'all made, how you cased uh, that sign. That was cool. Okay. I never use this paper trimmer, you guys. So let me adjust here for a second. I chose this one because I can trim lots of paper at one time. I guess it doesn't lock. Well, that's interesting. This is kind of a new to me paper trimmer. I'm still deciding if I like it. All right. I'm going to grab like three sheets at a time. Okay. And we already decided we're doing eight. Let me double check my orientation, but it should be fine because I have this white line at the I have them all um, lined up. Okay. So I have to move things to fit this thing on my desk even. All right. It makes easy work of cutting through this thick paper, which is why I chose it. I can do three sheets at a time. Now, I'm gonna save these pieces. These will make great pockets and decorations for our journal. I've really been into journal making lately. That's what I've been kind of wanting to do the most. Of course, I'll always probably be a card maker first, but I've really been enjoying 
journaling. I think for me, I have to have the variety to keep my mojo going. I like that, you know, I play with paper, so I can play and make cards or I can play with paper and make journals. And I kind of want to make a Mother's Day journal too for the moms. So we'll see. We'll see how many we can make with this paper pad this morning. It might be that my covers have to be made separately and at a later time, but we'll just see. Let's see if I can make quick work of it. A lot of times I get to hanging out with y'all and I craft slower than I do when the camera's off. <laughs> so what I know I think I probably could do it's uh, slowed down a little bit, which is fine too. All right. I'm almost done cutting all the paper already. I'm going to try to cut four pieces this time because it's the last four pieces. Okay. to the side now. So what is everyone doing for Sunday fun day today? We are going to go to a park. Um, there's a really cool park next town over. It's called Play for All. And it's an all abilities park, which is really cool. So they have like apparatus for wheelchairs and all kinds of things. And it's got this really cool like little city. They built like a small like kids city in it. And it was sponsored by local businesses like HB. And it's just really rad. Like they even have like traffic lights and um you know, it's, it's a city. It has streets and a gas station, a grocery store, a library, a school, a fire um, house. It's just got all kinds of things. It's neat. The kids love, have always loved going there. They have like a little race track. They have a pirate ship and a pirate, like a music area and amphitheater with built-in instruments and... We're going there because they have a, a zip line. I've been wanting to go zip lining, but nobody else wants to. But my daughter is finally getting up some courage. She said, so she said, how about we go and play on the mini zip line and then I'll build up my courage to play on the big one. I said, that sounds reasonable. Let's do that. So we're going there for that too. <laughs> but I didn't hate it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know that feeling. Don, I keep recording videos and deleting them. So, <laughs> in fact, I recorded one last night and already this morning I was like, maybe I'll just delete it. My goodness. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've deleted like four videos. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I need to create a rule for myself. Like, I can only delete one of every five videos or something so that I actually have content for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just got done putting food together for a potluck. Oh, fantastic. Vicki, that sounds fun. I love potlucks. When I was in college, we had a group. We were all vegetarian. And we had a weekly potluck, Monday nights, for, I guess we did it for about two years, and we did it every Monday. Um, everyone would bring a dish, and it was nice to do it on Mondays, honestly, because then if you had leftovers, there was less cooking. <laughs> or you could, you know, everyone can make a plate to take home for 
the next day or whatever. I always did my classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I could work Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I had to work as I went through school and pay for it and pay for shelter and food and car and all the things. So that was fun. I, our church, when I was growing up, we always had potlucks and it was my favorite, favorite activity was <laughs> going and eating all the yummy food with everyone. Okay. So I'm just folding everything in half, obviously. All right, let's do this. Let's make a journal. Now, the person I'm making this journal for, and I'm not gonna use all these, we're definitely gonna have two journals here, you guys. Um, but the person I'm making this journal for is not a junk journaler, okay? She's never had a handmade journal. So I don't need to go crazy with flips and all the things because she's not, I, you know, she may love, she may end up loving all the flips and all the things, but I wanna make sure I don't have duplicate pages here. We definitely have enough for two journals. But I just wanna keep it kind of, you know, like a simple writing journal. So I got um, some Happy Mail out. I need to get some more out. Now, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of things real quick. When you're putting your pages together, if you were to just put them like that, even if you're mashing this down and getting it real tight, you're gonna have this, which actually makes flipping through the pages really nice till you get halfway and then it you, it's hard, you know? And so a lot of times we'll go back here, I certainly I will, and trim off so that it's all straight. So that's one thing. Another thing is that I folded these all one way, but you don't have to, right? So you can kind of alternate how you fold your pages. You know, maybe you want two folded that way, then maybe we'll fold this one like this. Whoops, don't mess it up, Betty Penny. All right. Right, so you don't have to have them all like so, but you can, whatever makes you happy. We'll do one of each, because variety is the spice of life. All right. Let's do this page next. Okay, then I wanna turn this one like this. Okay, now obviously you don't also have to only use pattern paper in one of these journals, but you could come in and use, um, you know, a different kind of paper. If you wanted a true junk journal, you could just put in like old atlas paper, you could put in, um, like this is a gardening book, so if, or a gardening journal, so if you had gardening, old gardening books, then you could put it in there, stuff like that. Okay, let me catch up with y'all. Good morning, Tina, welcome. Die cuts with a view. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> I have been wanting to go get another one of those floral couture paper pads. I've been really wanting to go to Joann's, which means I should probably stay far away from Joann's, right? Oh, I really want to make a card for Craft Roulette this week. I thought those parameters were really fun. It was a fun episode, as always. I enjoy it every single week. I'm reading, sorry. 
Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm glad you clarified Cordelia because I was like, hey, if you're in Harris County, you know, we're pretty close. We're both in Texas. Let's meet up. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Good morning. Welcome. I hope you're doing good. Okay. All right. So now I have two journals. Let's pull in. Look at all this paper we still have. Let's pull this paper in. Let's do some things with it. We've got this paper. This. We've got a sheet of cut apart. We have this one I think would be some cute pockets. So let's now like spice up these journals and get them done. I, I'm, I'm wanting to start now, especially it's April, mid-April, almost May. I need to start making a bunch of journals because I want to do that Christmas uh, market again. And I want to have, I sold about 25 or 30. 30 journals last time so I want to easily have like 50 journals on hand for that so I need to get busy and start making them now I left out last time because I had some stock from when I used to do fairs before we all know before the thing that shut us all down all right Let's look and see here. I'm looking for some decorative edge scissors. I used to have some. I'm not seeing them, so we're not going to force it. The other thing, let me grab, I'm going to grab some stamps. I think stamps would be fun. These two, I'm just grabbing them quickly. I think these two will work. This one really matches this paper pad with the, with all the things. So that'll be fun. All right, and then this beautiful flowers. Um, I really love these sentiments. I haven't used this in a long time. I was watching one of Crafty Mama Diaries videos. And she was talking about mojo and she was asking people how you know she was feeling like she had lost her mojo a little bit and she was wanting to know how people get their mojo back and I get my mojo back just by going through what I have I get my mo my crafting mojo back just by shopping my stash I go through and rediscover things I had fallen in love with enough to purchase and spend my money on <laughs> So that really gets me going. Um, it really helps. It helps more than anything that I've found. Like, it helps more than watching or definitely shopping. It's, uh, I think if you've lost your mojo, of course, every person's different. But shopping can be a little dangerous because then you'll just be buying things and maybe without an idea of how you want to use them. Maybe you'll be buying them with an idea of how you want to use them. But I just feel like um, going through what I already have and having it at my fingertips ready to use is a great way for me personally to get my mojo back. I can just put things on my desk and get to crafting. Huh. That's weird. I'm gonna, hold on. I feel 
like I just used this piece of ephemera from a different company. That's weird. I thought I've already seen this this week. Sorry. Maybe that's weird. I don't know. I just feel like I'd already seen this exact piece this week. How strange. I've been working on this, you guys, some more. You can see I put down some. This is my garden journal that I made with y'all in my last live video. Sneak peek. Oh, I've been working on it. So I have, I do, I did record um, that. So I'll have that out for you. I haven't done the other side yet. I'm still gonna add, I need to take and add more photos. Um, this is really weird. I know I've seen this image this week and it wasn't from this paper pad because this is one of those forgotten paper pads on my shelf. This is me loving my stash, finding this paper pad. I wanted to make a journal because, well, I love printables very, very much for journal making and for card making. Um, but I feel like so many journals are made from printables and not everybody has them or uh, has a printer or can use printables, but I feel like a lot of us card makers definitely have, um, you know, 12 by 12 pattern paper. So I felt like it would be fun to make a journal with 12 by 12 paper instead of printables. I've done it before, but it's not necessarily a new idea because even I've done it on my channel, but that was the inspiration this morning. So I was like, okay, I want to make a journal. I want to use 12 by 12 paper. And so I just went into my stash and found this forgotten paper pad and it's so pretty. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, these are gonna be pockets. All right, so I'm not gonna cut those down any further. Let's make a couple of belly bands. Let's see, let me see how tall this one is. This looks like a sheet of paper almost. Let's see, it's nine. Oh, that can just be another sheet for our journals. So just cut it down to eight. Okay. Originally I thought it was too small, but that's the same size as our journal pages. All right. So now let's cut down a few of these. These are the four inch. Now, obviously, for my card making friends. If you wanted to make one of these journals, we cut it, we kept it at 12 inches and then we cut it down to um, eight inches. So now we have four inches, uh, four by 12 inches sheets of paper. What can you do with this? You can make slimline cards with this. Um, you can make two A7 cards with this. You can make two five by seven cards with this. I mean, you can do a lot with a four by 12 inch sheet. So, um, in fact, one thing that I do sometimes, you guys, when I'm making journals, is I'll go ahead and I'll actually make cards. I'll make just real simple, I'll show you. Don't talk about it, do it, right? So, I will take leftover paper, like what I'm doing now. I'll just cut this to, so it's at four, so I'll do five and a quarter. And what I'll do is I'll make really simple, like pattern paper cards to give with the journal. And then, Probably what I'll do is grab a cutout, one of these cut aparts, or I'll um, use ephemera from my stash. 
and I'll include four or five little cards. You know, if you before I became a card maker, I would always I like to go to Target and Marshalls and Ross and all the places and I'd buy boxes of cards. I used to just buy boxes of cute cards because I always like to have cards on hands on hand and I always like to send cards. And this kind of thing reminds me of those cards because before being a card maker, this would have made me perfectly happy. I'd love to have little note cards like this that come in the boxes. And they, I would just pick them because they had pretty patterns on them. They didn't even have like all the bells and whistles. <laughs> so anyways, that's one thing you can do with them. I wanted to make some belly bands with this. So let's do... I'm going to cut this down to eight because I know that that's the height of my paper. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this down to two inches. And now I have two belly bands to go inside my journal. Okay, let's. I'm going to cut this to six because that's, this is going to be a little pocket. Those will be two pockets. So these are four by six, but obviously if I had, if I wanted to make five by seven cards, which I know I have a stack of five by seven bases here yesterday. Dun, 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 dun. Where did they go? I don't know. But obviously you could put these on five by sevens as well, but they're gonna be our pockets. They're four by six. Okay. I think with this one, I'm gonna actually use this for a cardigan. Cardigan, not a sweater. For cards again. Get that Texas accent going, all right. Uh, five and a quarter. So this is four by five and a quarter. This is cute. This has all different flower names on it. I didn't cut that very well. That's all right. There we go. So that'll be two more A2 cards. Let me just grab some bases. Do you guys pre-cut and... Um, score your bases. Do y'all stack up card bases and have them ready? Or do you make card bases as you need them? Just curious. I have long since been the type to just have my bases made and scored. Like if I want to be in the craft room, but I don't necessarily have enough time or want know what kind of project I want to work on, I'll just make up a bunch of card bases. Just busy work for my hands, right? Um, but I do like to have them pre-made, so it makes for quick card making. All right, so now we've got two more of those. I love this paper, it's really pretty. Let's make two more bands with this. I'm gonna cut it down to eight. And then two inches and two inches. Okay, two more bands. Oh, here's another one of these. I'm just gonna put this one to the side for now. But what we could do is finish off these cards with them. Okay, so I had these leftovers already it's like it's just too easy let's do it it's just too easy all right so we're making journals and cards and the cards we're just making with our scraps uh oh where's my there they are it's like I know they can't be too far away I'm just gonna cut out these tags with my scissors
I have been up since four this morning, you guys. I had the worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what it was because, you know, I wanna transfer good thoughts, not bad thoughts, onto others. But dang, I had a bad nightmare last night. Oh, look, that's cute, right? Like a slim tag, I like it. That can go on the inside. Oh, we can make a slim tag out of this one too. Well, that was crooked. I love it when um, I'm working and I come across like old documents and currency and stuff that's like hand cut and it's all crooked. I'm like, those are my people. <laughs> those are my people. Cutting crooked, yes. That's that's how I get down. All right. Ugh, this would even be cute on an A2 card. I think it's a little too big. But just keeping those in line. Okay. Let's put this one with this, this one with this, just to kind of bring in some color. All right. I'm putting these to the side. We'll tackle those later. Let's trim this down a bit. We will get back to this journal making. I hope I'm not too all over the place for you guys, but this is just how my brain works. So we're going to go with it and maybe just seeing, you might not want to adopt this approach, but for me, it's a very organic thought process. And this is how, <laughs> this is how I do it. This is how I come up with ideas and stay crafty. All right, so I just wanted to trim a little bit of that off so I could see that background paper. We can put that there. I organized my desk yesterday. And so I can easily put my hands on some printable sentiments. Aww. The healthiest response to life is joy. I like that. The only thing is, I don't know if I like this red. Okay, so let's go over here. And grab some of these. If you're wondering, this is Pink Monarch Prints. It's one of my favorite Etsy shops. <laughs> I mean, I've got 50, so 50 favorites easily. <laughs> but I like my pink monarch prints. Okay. Yeah, so I got up at four and I was like, I just laid in bed for almost two hours, no lie. And I was like, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep, try to forget that dream, try to chill out. It didn't work. I mean, I chilled out, but that's all that worked. Okay, I'm getting really now distracted by these cards. But, all right, see this detail on here where it's like tape and a staple? I wanna replicate that. Don't really like how close that hole punch is there. So I think I'll put the tape at the top and I'll kind of just staple this on here. All right, so let's make that up. All right, I'm about to get back to the journal making, I promise. All right, let's grab some tape. Maybe we'll do washi tape. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. That's sweet. For some people, they might it might be just like too much ADD or something. ADHD. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to put that off there and then kind of put this down here. I don't know. Don't overthink it. 
even if you don't love it, somebody else will. So just glue it down, go with the flow, have some fun, use your stash. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the journey. I kind of wish, I don't kind of wish, I do wish I had some like die cuts of tut in here. So I'm going to grab my punch and punch some. Let's see. If... Okay, I promise I'm going to get away from this card. <laughs> okay. I wonder what it would look like. Oh, that's right. I have tiny pieces of that paper. I want to see what it looked like out of that gingham. Here we go. You don't know till you try. If I don't like it, it's white on the other side, so I'll just flip it over. Like so. I think I tuck these in here. What do y'all think? I mean, it's not a masterpiece, but it's a, I don't like it with the gingham. It's a way to use our supplies and this will go with the journal and then that way someone has something for themselves like they have the journal but then they have something to share with others all right i like it all right Maybe put a little bit of this over here. Good thing it's washi tape. Don't like it. Ooh, but I might like it on the inside with this. Let's kind of tack it in there. I'm such a card maker. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to be making journals right now. <laughs> All right. To me, I just I have to have a base to my base. You know, you know what I mean? I have to add that extra, even if it's white. I just like to have that there. Okay? There. I don't know. We just made a card, but this will go with the journal. All right, let's get back to the journal. I got distracted by card potential. So there's your card potential. I'm putting that to the side. I'm going to put a paper clip on it because I know when these pieces together, I'm going to put it to the side. I'll do that later. <laughs> but now you know, now you know, you can do a lot with a four by <laughs> 12 inch sheet of paper. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's see. Um, it's really cute. I think I want a pocket out of this. I really do like this green gingham. Let's go for that for now. The person I'm giving this journal to is not a gardener. So I don't want to have too much emphasis on the garden aspect of this journal. I want to have more em emphasis on the flower aspect. We have had fresh cut roses at our dinner table for the last two weeks, you guys. I love that I'm a gardener. <laughs> I have like huge heirloom roses, purple, apricot just pop art, Julia Child yellow, just, ah, it's so lovely. It's so wonderful. Okay. So 
six inches. I can go a little shy because of the fold. But these are going to be pockets. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut this down to eight inches. Hope y'all can see that this is our leftover. I'm going to throw it over to the side. I'm sure that'll be a card. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this to two. Okay, so now we have some belly bands, we have some pockets, we have some stamps. Let's put these journals together. All right, this was an extra page. I'm just gonna put it in here. Not there, because that's too close for comfort. Okay. Oh, what's our center look like? that. Okay, well that's fine. Let's see. Don't mind me as I try to figure this out. I'm overthinking it. Don't overthink it. Just tuck it in there somewhere. I'll put it. See, I'm overthinking it again. Whatever. We'll just put it right there like this. Okay. All right. So we have two journals. Let's decorate these pages. So this will be the front page. It definitely is going to need a pocket. All right, trick. If this is the top of your pocket, well, first of all, you can cut a thumb hole in there. So it's easier for them to get things in and out. Now, if you do that, hold it here and then put your glue on the other three sides. And that way, wherever your thumb is, you know you don't want glue. And that will that's a little hack for gluing in pockets. Um, you just put your thumb and you hold the side you don't want to glue. Okay, so now we have a pocket. Yay. Okay. See, now we have a pocket for fun things. Let's put a belly band over here. A belly band is just another, or a tuck spot. You know, if you put your belly band in the center of the page, we'll do that too. It's great. This one will be a tuck spot where she can tuck things in. Probably honestly have enough paper here to make three journals. <laughs> this would be a good page for a pocket, even though we just put a pocket over here. I'm gonna just take that out for now. I think this page needs a pocket. Oh, I kind of like that green, it's bright. I'm catching up on y'all's. Oh, I'm sorry, Cordelia. You had to put your little fur baby down. I'm so sorry. It's painful. It's never a good thing. You do make your card bases ahead. Awesome, me too, love it. I'm gonna edge these pretty close over here to the edge, because I know I'm gonna go back and trim my sides off, so that way my, my pocket's more complete. Okay, all right, moving on. Another plain page.
What if we cut those down? Okay. I want to look at my eyes on these cut aparts. Sweet. You have but one life. Enjoy the journey. Happy day. Oh, I like this one. Let's use that one. Okay. I am going to make... I'm trying to decide. Do I make this whole thing flip up so she can write underneath? I think so. Instead of just making this a flip up. But this could flip up too. We can do it all. All right. I'm really wanting to stamp up these plain pages. Besides stamping, we could like, uh, sorry, let me think about this for a second. Think, think, brain, work. Okay, goes this way. I'm wanting the green to show and not white when she flips it up. But yeah, I'm wanting to stamp these white pages. Ugh, it's just white pages, man. After working and using journals for so long, like when I turn to a double white page, I'm like, ah, the glaring light. <laughs> okay, so this is my hinge. All right, so let me glue it. We'll hinge this page. See now when you flip it up, you see the, the green instead of the white. That's what I wanted. Let me move this. Definitely decorating the journal is the most lengthy process in journal making. Uh, sewing it in, doing your pages, y'all can tell that's super quick for the most part. It's the decorating that takes time. It's filling those pages. Okay. I'm going to then put, let's put a belly band here. We'll tuck in some note paper. Okay, and let that dry. I'm deciding, sorry, what I want to do with this. Hey, where's that washi tape? Where did it go? Think, think, think. There it is. I know I stuck that one piece back on here somewhere. It'll pop up. I think I'll just tape it like that. Okay, and then she can flip this up. She can flip this up and journal under these things. Now we've got a place here. Let me grab some notebook paper. Tear it out of my composition notebook I had sitting over here on the side that I had taken out to my garden and the other day and written all my plant names down. Okay, I'm gonna fold it up. Look, if you don't want to put plain composition notebook paper in your journal, hey, I'm I understand. But what we can do is come in and stamp on it. 
kind of make it coordinate. And it's not just plain paper. It was meant to be. Oh, you're allergic to roses, Vicki? Oh, man. I'm sorry. Well, are you, can you do other flowers? Can you tolerate other flowers? I know my hubby sometimes can't handle different roses. Not all roses, but some roses I have noticed he reacts to. Um, and he can't handle like, uh, like rose oil. Like I used to wear like this rose essential oil and it always make him sneeze. So I had to stop that, I had to cut that out. Um, but I have noticed that when I bring in roses from outside, he's usually good. Do some quick masking here. Like I said, it was quick, but that's okay. So basically, you know, just add a little something so it's not just plain. Well, I don't think that'll fit in there. That's okay. I have a fix for that. So you could tuck it that way. If you cut it even shorter, you could put it sideways. We're just gonna stick it in like this. Because of the way I have it folded, you can even tuck it in and fold it over like that. You can do anything. Anything your pretty little brains comes up with. But I'm gonna stick it like that. Okay, moving on. Dawn. All right. She could put pictures in, you know. Let's put this page back in. Kind of break up that pattern a little bit. And she has a pocket. Not everyone knows what to do with the pockets I've found. So let me grab one of those one of these. We're going to make her a big tag. That way she knows, hey, oh, I can put things in here. Yeah, you sure can. This journal gonna need some lace my friends it's gonna need some lacy we'll just make her a big old tag mm -hmm. it's like I know I had it put a hole in it I have some reinforcers I don't know where they are. It's okay. We won't do those right now. I could put some fabric in here. Let me grab some sorry silk. Well, now I'm really wishing I had that reinforcer. Oh well. 
we press on. All right, that's kind of fun because that'll stick out of the top of the journal. I like it when fabric and stuff sticks out of the top. Look, and then in here, I mean, there's other cut aparts. These are from a different paper pad, but you know, you can decorate on top of your pockets. You can use cut aparts like this. I've already shown you as a flip up. We could use this as a pocket. Um, These really need some writing. We'll put some of these in pockets. That's what we'll do with some of these because they need to be like things that she can write on. Uh, another thing, let's prompt her to put a photo in there. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, this friend, I'm making this for my neighbor. She's from Slovakia. Have I already told y'all about the Slovakian Easter tradition? Holy cow, my friends. They have an interesting tradition. She was telling me about it because we had a block party for Easter here on our street. And I just asked her, well, what do you do in Slovakia? And... I'm just making sure I have the right size here. Yeah, this is a four by six. Okay, cool. Uh, this is from Genevieve Designs. Okay, this is one of her, she makes really interesting mini albums with templates. So it's just a real different approach to where you print everything out and cut it out like this. You don't use measurements. It. I tried it, it just, my brain just works different. But I use the printables in, in ways like this. Okay, I just want to prompt her to know that she can put photos in here if she wants. She has the most adorable little girl. So she could put a picture of her in here. Um, anyways, so... The women get all dressed up and men will visit the house, like your father-in-law, your brother-in-law, your cousin, whoever. They'll come over all dressed up. You feed them, you offer them drinks. Hey, Lynn, good morning, welcome. Oh, 10 p.m., good after evening. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Rhonda's here. She's in Australia as well. Well, she was here. I don't know if, if Rhonda's still here. She might have fallen asleep already. Um, but, so, they go visit, and the women, you know, have snacks and food and all the lovely things made for the men. And then the men chase them with whips outside and dump ice cold water on them. And then the women are to tell them, oh, thank you, thank you so much, and here's some money and some more gifts. I'm so glad you came and dumped water on me today and whipped me. That is so kind of you. Um, I was like, um, what? <laughs> what an interesting tradition. Oh my goodness. And she's like, yeah. They say it's how we say so beautiful. The men come around and do this so that we can stay beautiful. I was like, wow. She's like, yeah, I don't miss that tradition at all. Okay, so Genevieve did a collaboration with May May, and she made this stamp set, which is really cool. I had to have it um, because it says place photo here, and then it has all these different like memory things, which I was thinking of stamping in here as well. So she knows that this can be like a journal and memory keeping place. Oh, good, Lynn. I'm so glad you recovered, fully recovered. I love hearing that. That's wonderful. 
anyway, so I liked it because, you know, obviously it has these different photo sizes. It has these cool blocks, tags, and then like favorite memories, special moments, place photo here, blah, 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 blah. I like it. All right. I'm just going to put this on here. I think what I'll do is actually stamp this on a post-it. Well, that's upside down, but whatever. And then I can put the post-it on here and she can take it off, but she knows what size photo can go on there. Okay. All right. So we're prompting our friend who's never had a journal like this before. So she knows the different ways she can use it. Oh, here's a place for some of these. Okay. Put those in there. Okay, this is coming together. Another white blank page. Where do they come from? All right. <laughs> We know where they come from. All right. Let's just add this here. You know what I'm gonna do? I think Well, I was tempted to cut these pages down. I need to do some stamping. This this lightness is just it's too much for me. I can't handle it. <laughs> I pulled out a book I used when my girls were little. It's called Roots, Shoots, Buckets, and Boots. Oh, that's so cute. A pizza garden, that sounds fun. So you would grow like basil and oregano and tomatoes, stuff like that. Hi, Debbie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's, I think this will stamp okay. I think it'll just stamp okay right there. I was just thinking about this thing last night and how I don't use it, so I'm going to use it. Let's see. I really like this in the part color. Let me use it. I do really like to use like my Catherine Puller inks on something like this where you get kind of one shot to get it right and get a good impression. So on journals, that is definitely something I would do. Okay, yay. Now, I wonder how this paper takes watercolor. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried. I'm not going to try it now. I'm just going to use a light blue and make my own lines for her to journal on. I'm going to pull this tag out that we made. I don't know why I turned it that way. Let me turn it this way. Some journaling lines. Yay! Tuck that tag back in. That's nice. I like this over here too, so we'll put that down. I think I'll make this one a full tuck spot.
tomatoes, small. Oh yeah, we have eggplant growing. I'm about to have Thai. I have the long Thai eggplant. We have one that's about this long. So we're about to have our first eggplant of the season. Mmm, yeah, I have all that stuff growing. You could just come pick out of my yard, Dawn. I have bell pepper. I have every, I have all that. <laughs> In the yard growing. We've been picking a lot of tomatoes and strawberries. Our strawberries are tiny, but they're so good. They're so, so good, you guys. Like, they are so sweet. I'm just going to tuck something in that spot so she knows what this is even for. I think when we're giving a journal to someone who's brand new to the scene of, of journals and especially journals like this, it's nice to, to fill them with the things so they know what to do. Oh, I kind of like this over here and kind of crooked. We can make this a tuck spot too. I can move it down here and we can make that a tuck spot. The great thing about tuck spots, why I like them so much is because then the journals expand, expandable, right? So like just as we up here added this paper, when you have tuck spots, you can add in more places for people to write you know, you can write on different types of paper and add it in. And so by adding a tuck spot, you're expanding the possibilities of what can be contained inside the journal. And I like that. All right, I had pulled out another stamp set. Oh, the piles, the piles and piles. Let's see, this one's cute. It's gonna take a lot longer than I want it to though. I don't really want to do all that. Obviously, I've never wanted to do all of that because I've never used that part of this. I've used the sentiments, but I do like the same set. Okay, let's stick to this one. I've used this one over and over. I really do love it. I'm gonna put this, you could be more awesome. You know, she doesn't have to write about herself. She could, use this prompt to journal about someone else. I mean, she's awesome, but you know what I mean? Maybe there's someone in her life that she's super grateful for and who's super awesome. She can write about it. Okay. going in there now and crooked must be a junk journal mm-hmm looks like it okay I, guys I really want some Catherine Fuller inks that are actually pastel. I bought some thinking these are going to be pastel and they're not pastel enough for me. I want some that are really truly pastel. They're just, I don't know. I need to do more research. But that'll work. Okay. I'm wondering if I should put lines like I did there. Maybe I will. I've still got the marker out. I don't know how long this video has been, will be, but I'm glad you're hanging out with me. Hopefully she knows that that's a place to write. <laughs> You know what, this is a, this is four by six. So I'm gonna use my four by six stamp again. And I'm gonna stamp, let me make sure I've got this turned the right way, and I didn't. Okay, 
she knows I'm even gonna put something about a photo place photo here I need a stamp that says photo option right and it says place photo here it's like you don't really have to if you don't want to but it's an option I'm not trying to boss you around in your own journal, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I'm silly. Leanne, hi, welcome. Oh, so Cordelia, good, I'm not alone. Even the lightest colors are pretty bright. I want like real pastel, you know, but I like Catherine Puller because I know I'll get a good impression. I just need some that are really like pastel. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Two more white pages. Ugh. All right. So I'm going to take a break for my brain and flip back what we've got so far take a look take a look got lots of tuck spots huh but then we've got this blue thing going on what if i come in and stamp with this stamp again let me clean it because i think i want to do pink this time and then I'll put lines around. We could obviously be like ink blending the edges of this paper to get color on there. Um, could be doing all kinds of things. Your first live, well, awesome. I feel so honored. I don't know if it's your first live ever or first live on my channel, but I'm so glad you're here. I love lives because I get to chat and talk to y'all and we get to hang out and be friends. So I'm a big fan of the live environment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, something bright and cheerful. Okay. That is going to go off the edge. Let's put it right here. And smash it down. Yes. Okay. Ah, I just got an idea. Let's take this blue marker. Let's use the chisel end. And let's just kind of... You could do this with an ink pad. But I'm just going to kind of outline real rough here. Almost like ink blending. I am ink blending with an alcohol marker, but I'm just going to kind of outline the edges of this paper. That'll be pretty. And then she can write anywhere she wants. I like drawing in my lines like I've done on this page, but sometimes depending on what you're writing, it may not be enough space or you might not want to write that big, so this might be a good option too. I'm taking my time to be ultra precise, can you tell? You don't have to be ultra precise. Again, that's the beauty of these kinds of journals. I don't want it to look sloppy, but those little imperfections are what make it interesting. Okay, I'm liking this. What do y'all think? This girl's contraption. Oh, hi, Melissa. <laughs> How are you? Um, this I got, okay, I don't know what it's called, but it's um, a stamping block 
with foam on it. And I always just kind of wanted to try one and I got this one at the thrift store for $2. So I like it. I don't really know. I mean, I guess you're supposed to be able to reline things up, but I'm terrible at lining up my stamps. Like I am so fortunate that I became a card maker when photopolymer stamps were here because I don't know what I would ever done with wood blocks, but I'm still terrible at it. Um, I think that's my weakness. Like my weakest thing as a card maker, stamper, paper crafter is lining stamps up again. I have to get it right the first time or use a stamping platform. Otherwise it's double vision every time. I just glanced over and noticed I had these things sitting over here, but I don't really think they go. I do like this little fairy door. They don't go. I mean, that fairy door kind of goes, but nah, okay. Keep it simple. I do want to add some yellow dots for some reason. I like adding dots around my stamped images because first it anchors it, even though I don't know how else to explain it. For me, I feel like it anchors the image and makes it really actually feel like it's supposed to be there and it's a part of something greater than itself <laughs> just being laying in the middle of the page. I'm gonna come in with a little darker yellow. There we go. I love pink and yellow together. And I love like yellow and light blue together. It's kind of a country country blue and yellow. I don't know. For me, this really makes this page, it's so funny, but the little yellow dots make the page feel complete. Am I crazy? Maybe. Potentially. But that's how my brain is. If you don't like the yellow dots, don't add them. I'm done. No more. Okay. Wrapping it up. All right. That fixed that for me, even though it's still pretty white. And then we go to this. Okay. What are we going to do here? I've already got a tuck spot there. I know we have lots of tuck spots in these other places. I think I have another one of those four by six. I do. Let's add this here. That's pretty. Okay. So this is, again, is just a mat to indicate that a four by six photo goes here. I don't like these mats are just good to like tell people that a photo goes here. But the thing that bothers me, to be honest, is that then when you put a four by six photo on it, it covers up the mat almost. I don't know but at least she'll know where it goes. Okay, so we need our little post-it again and our four by six. Let's do it in pink this time. It's funny, I thought that we could do two journals. We could do two journals and I will do two journals. The thing is, it's the decorating, guys, it's the decorating. Okay, I have an idea for this page. I am gonna get my tea dye paper out and I'm gonna leave it out. Right now, it's under a bunch of stuff under my desk and, well, that could just be a whole calamity if I was to try to get to it. So, I'm gonna grab a different kind of paper. can't see the color that this one is. Well, I think it's tan and I wrinkled it pulling it out. 
but this is just like 20 pound copy paper. I buy it in like tan and cream. It's great for your journals when you don't want white paper, um, but maybe you don't coffee dye paper either. So this is such a good option and you can get it in lots of colors and it's pretty inexpensive. Let's cut this down to five. cut these down to five by seven. The great thing about this size little journal is that you can put four by six or five by seven photos in it or three by five, but all right. I'm just going to make a little journaling spot there and I'm actually going to just kind of do that. Okay. Because I had already wrinkled it. So let's just make it look like it's meant to be wrinkled. Okay. Yay. And now we can put this down and she can have a little journaling spot. We'll put a little piece of paper over the top. Make it all pretty. I'm just gonna glue it. You can staple it, but I promise this glue is gonna hold for the life of the journal. So I'm just gonna glue it. And I'm gonna glue it down here as well. The fun thing about this is that, I know we're covering up the pattern paper, but uh, not really. I mean, you can still see it back there. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. More white. <laughs> yeah, Melissa. It. I'm sorry. I don't know which color it is, but it's my favorite. When uh, it's Spring Hill Digital is the brand. International paper, Spring Hill Digital. It's 20 pound. Um... And see how dark it is? Like, this is the darker. I just think it's so, like, rich and yummy. It's not ivory. I can tell you that for sure. I think it's tan. I think. Um, but I just love the richness of the color. And you can do your printables on it and everything. And it's just a great substitute for um, tea-dyed or coffee-dyed paper. Okay, guys, I don't know how much more of this y'all want to see, but I think what we'll do here is obviously I'm not even halfway through decorating this journal. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim off a little bit of the edges. I know we've done all that decorating and now you want to trim your edges. Okay, don't do as I do. You might try to do, you might want to trim these off first, like for this little thing that we haven't even touched yet, and um, trim those off be first before you decorate, but I'm not even really that worried about it. I'm just going to trim them and be cool with it. So let me bring out my big massive trimmer again. You don't see it often because of its sheer size, and, but... I'm going to use it for this job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this. Clip these pages to try to hold them together. And use some pressure. I'm going to see if this can go through. No. No, it cannot. Okay. I 
I'm going to have to do this in Aretha. Do y'all know who Aretha is? Aretha is my industrial paper trimmer that I cut hundreds of sheets of cardstock at one time. That's Aretha. Because I named her Aretha because she's black and beautiful and deserves respect. That paper trimmer is nobody's fool. So I have to be very respectful of Aretha the paper trimmer. All right. Well, maybe this is the end for us here today, you guys. <laughs> but at least I hope I gave you lots of ideas. I can come back and show you the finished journals in another video. Um, but this is what we did here today. I think this is a great little journal for someone. I think regardless of their exposure to, to handmade journals before, they can pick this up and figure it out of what to do with it. Especially, I think, with the photos, you know, giving her ideas of, uh, you know, tucking things in, adding notebook paper, whatever, flipping up pages. Just such a great way to blank, to break a white page. It's so funny when I go through journals like this now and I turn to a white page and I'm like, <gasps> because I'm just so used to having pattern. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm glad you got up early too, Dawn. Now you can get more done today and maybe you can get a nap as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do with the covers yet. And there's still a lot of decorating to go, so... I might have been, if I were just constructing, we could have been done with this video in 20 minutes, but look at how much it grows once you start decorating. I'm really halfway done here and it's, it's growing. So I'll get these done and show them to you another time. I hope you guys have a really wonderful Sunday. It's Sunday fun day for my Australia friends. Good night and sweet dreams. And, um, I, Rhonda, oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Use those 12 by 12 paper bags. 12 by 12 is my favorite. You can do the most with it. Six by six is great and all, but 12 by 12 is my favorite for sure. Love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day and night and I will catch y'all next time and share these with you later. Bye.